Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel, Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I want to talk to you. It's very important, it's very important that you guys subscribe, like, and tell your friends about this channel. We're trying to boost, we're trying to boost the Paul Pluto and the Archie Luxury channel, and we can't do it without your support. We need your support. It really, really would help. The other thing is, guys, we can't survive on Google Ads alone. Google Ads is uh, very, very, um, it's hard to survive, guys. So look, paid reviews. On the Paul Pruda channel, we do paid reviews. These paid reviews keep me full-time on YouTube. Also, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon lets you pay a small amount of money every month. It's kind of like a tithing, except that it helps creators stay full-time. You sponsor me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, I'll send you secret pre-release videos. I'll send you secret Patreon-only videos. Plus, I'll send you links to other videos that other people have made that I thought were really good. So, if you really want to keep me full-time on YouTube, consider sponsoring me on Patreon. The other thing is, guys, if you want to send me a donation, these are greatly appreciated. They're greatly appreciated. I earn a couple of bucks per thousand views, which is hardly anything, considering I'm in a niche topic. Guys, if you really get benefit out of this channel, consider sending a few bucks. It's something that keeps creators like me full-time on YouTube. Now, guys, let's get on with the show! Showtime! Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel, and today I want to talk about, I want to talk about, I want to talk about consumerism, consumerism and greedy nasty fuckers out there. And I was talking to a guy today who, uh, he's a great American, great American, uh, Rob, I think his name was, Rob, anyhow, it doesn't matter his name, it's irrelevant. He, uh, he's a truck driver, 29, served in the army. He's now, he's from Chicago, he's just, you know, doing all the things and he's, uh, he's finally coming around to buying a watch for himself. And his biggest decision is, does he go for a Batman, Batman GMT or a Coke? Because he loves Diet Coke, but he also loves superhero Batman. And uh, I said to him, I said to him, look, if you're going to wear this watch... I said, the problem with many modern Rolexes, many modern Rolexes are for poses. They're not really true tool watches. They're for people who want to big note themselves that, I got a Rolex, I got a Rolex. And uh, whereas the older, like a Coke or a Explorer 2, these are watches for people who want a quality watch. And they don't necessarily want to shout, I got a Rolex, I got a Rolex. They don't want to necessarily shout that. And it's kind of sad. I said the whole thing with the Rolex Ponzi scheme, this Rolex re secondary market, is that now so many people have multiple Rolex collections. You're talking about people who got... I mean, I mean you, you go back in time and Patek... Patek Philippe used to lend you a watch when your Patek was getting serviced. They had a steel ellipse they'd lend you so that you could wear something whilst your Patek was getting... I mean, that's just unheard of these days. These days, people have multiple watches. We're so greedy. We're so uh, interested in ourselves, and all we care about is more. We want to have a dive watch, a GMT, we want a chronograph, we want a dress watch, sports watch, every one, two-tone steel, and then the gold. We want precious metal, we want white gold, yellow gold, rose gold, then we want platinum. Ah, the list just goes on and on and on. And I mean, you look at this, I mean, so many people have, you go on to the watch forums, you go onto the YouTube channels about watches, and it's all about showing, hey, I got all this stuff. <coughs> I own all this stuff. And the reality is, 
how many watches do we need? It looks ridiculous to wear two watches. I tried it, I look like a moron. It doesn't really work. You can't really wear two watches. You look, it's just, it's crass. It's crass. That's what it is. It's crass. And um, I got to tell you honestly, guys, I got to tell you honestly, going back where we just had one watch and, you know, these are as simpler times. I mean, so many people, we use watches as a crutch. Maybe it's a crutch. It's something that we can have some choice over in our life because our life is so shit. We've got big mortgages or high rents. We've got car payments. We've got furniture, rent to buy furniture. We don't own nothing. By the time it's paid off, it's time for replacement. I mean, this world we live in, it's not a quality, solid place. It's no longer what it used to be. And this is the whole point. This is the whole point. It is a very much a consumer society. And how many of these damn things do we need? I mean, uh, you can be a Rolex lover and a Rolex collector. Do you need to own 10 of the bastards? Do you need to own 5? Do you need to own 3? How many how many do you need? And I got a lot of time for people who have one watch. One watch. One watch they wear every day. One watch that they don't have to worry about security. Where do they store them? Are they in the bank safe? A home safe? They have this. They, you just wear it. It's, isn't that the safest thing you can do is just wear it? And i got to tell you, this consumer society we live in, we all want more. We want trophy wives, trophy watches. We want signs of achievement. But how many do we really need? Maybe a walk in the park is a nice thing to do, you know? How many quality wristwatches does one really, really, really need? How many do you need? Sports watch, chronograph, we need all these things. We've got different, you know, and, and you go back to uh, the 70s, you know, people didn't collect watches. And this is the whole thing. <clears throat> Maybe it's just a futile collection that we're trying to build there and yes it's nice you can admire a submariner you can admire the gmt admire the daytona but we might have one we might have a day just but yes i like them all but I, i've got a day just and this is the whole thing this is the whole thing we've become so greedy we've become so entitled and the reality is why not just have one one, 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 maybe two, maybe two, maybe two. Isn't that enough? One or two? Is it? How many do we need? And that is a very fascinating question. How many do we need? Mm. Very fascinating indeed. So uh, I got to be honest with you and say that. I don't think we need I don't think we need five of these pieces. How many do we need? One to have one Rolex. Isn't that enough? Do we need to hoard and possess? Put them in the safe knowing we've got them? Will we wear these damn things? Enjoyment comes from within, not from hoarding possessions. And I got to say too, too many of us, yes, we can admire watches, yes, we can, but do we need to cage them? Do we need to own every example? Is that really important? Does it make us less of a happy human if we don't have a Batman in our collection? This is the thing, we've become so greedy, so greedy and so materialistic. It's a very, very sad reflection. And uh, I kind of, I look back on the days when I had one. <clears throat> one. And in some ways, those were the best days of my life. I'm Archie Luxury. Comments below. Tell me what you guys...
think of that. Okay. Thank you.